How's it going folks? Welcome to another video and today I wanted to talk about my top 5 favourite and kind of most useful plugins for OBS. So kind of a list type video today, hopefully won't be too bad, hopefully won't be too long. As per usual, everything I talk about, all the links and stuff will be in the description below and we'll jump right into it. Okay, the first plugin I want to talk about is the Move Transition plugin. Now, I have previously done a whole video on that, and as of recording, it's actually my most viewed video, which is, which is pretty funny. And I really enjoy this plugin. I think it's simple to use. It is the most effective for what it does, and it does a great job of making things look more professional and more streamlined for you and for the viewer. It provides a really good continuity between different scenes. So if you're swapping from like a full cam scene to playing a game, there's no uh, stinger transition covering the screen or no fade to black and fade back in or anything like that. It's just your camera moving into position where it needs to go and the game coming out of nowhere or fading in or whatever you choose. Out of this list, it is potentially my favourite one. There is one other one I quite like, which is the very last one, but the move transition is up there with that. Second on the list is the spectralizer. Now, some of you might know what this is based on the name, some of you might not. Um, if you don't, it is a, it's a graphical representation of the music that's being played in the background, which sounds really dumb. It's a cool wavy bar graph is what it is. Personally for me, I really like this plugin because it's a kind of small subtle thing you can add on to a BRB screen or start and soon screen that just kind of visualizes and adds a bit more to the music that's playing in the background. You can even have this in an existing scene if you've got gameplay on it where you're showing the music you're listening to and you want to just add that behind it. It looks really cool if you turn down the opacity and have it kind of faded into the background where you can see through it but you can still see the bars moving. I like that a lot. On to number three on the list, we've got the transition table. Now, I spoke about subtle differences with the spectralizer, and this one is hard to put in a category of if it's subtle or if it's kind of in your face. Some people will point it out and be like, oh, it's so obvious, and there's other people not notice it for 10 years. But the transition table allows you to have a custom transition between every scene and it also allows you to have a custom transition based on what scene you're on and what scene you're going to. So it's pretty cool. It is already possible in OBS itself to have a transition override but having this transition table allows you to have a bit more customization swapping between specific scenes if for some reason you want a transition between your starting scene and your game scene to be longer than your BRB scene and your gaming scene. You can apply custom times and custom transitions to those individual pairings as opposed to having a single setting for your game scene. Last but definitely not least is the Stream FX plugin. Now this plugin is brilliant. It has so much included in it and it has a whole Wikipedia page just on its own effects, which is pretty impressive for a plugin. As of recording this video, there are nine effects available. Two of the most useful ones that I feel are the 3D transform and the blur filter. Now, the blur filter I mentioned in my previous video for the green screens um, doesn't apply a filter just to your background, it applies it over the whole scene which is fantastic for a kind of stained glass start and soon screen or BRB scene or something along those lines. The 3D transform allows you to move your scene or your camera or anything you want in 3D space. So you can have it, your camera at a slight angle to make it look as if you're looking into the game or if you have a scene that has a television on it, you can edit your camera to make it look as if you're appearing on the TV, which is pretty cool in my opinion. There is of course a lot more to this plugin than just the 3D transform and the blur. They also have source mirroring, they have color grading, and they have face tracking, which is cool as f 
considering it is just a plugin for OBS. I highly recommend this plugin, it is fantastic. To finish us off here, I've got a nice fun one. So, question. As a kid, do you ever remember watching the DVD logo bounce around the screen, waiting for it to hit the corner, and for it to inevitably never hit the corner? Well, we can relive that with the DVD screensaver plugin. You can have the exact same DVD logo bouncing around your scene whenever you want, which I thought was genuinely pretty cool. It's a nice little quirky one that you can add on to a BRB scene or a start and soon screen that will not only entice but also enrage the people that are watching your stream. And that's us for this one. I appreciate you guys watching to the very end. Um, I am getting back into this and feeling a bit more. I still stress them out a lot but I'm quite enjoying it. So maybe <laughs> there will be more from me this time. Um, but nonetheless, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.